Hi guys, it's Jessica here. Welcome back. It's been a while since I posted a video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lots of things are going on. Um, it is consignment season for um, the spring. I have three consignment sales to go to. I'm actually consigning in one. I have um, close to 600 items in that consignment sale. But I went to one today in Warranted called Kids Haven. Um, and I want to show you some things I got. I am a stay-at-home mom. We have one income. My husband works. And the way we can do it is to buy things on sale, to coupon, and um, consignment sales save us a lot. Um, clothing three kids is not easy and getting them stuff to play with and new stuff to play with and keep them interested um, is also <laughs> really not easy. So um, I went, I stood in line, I was 45 minutes early and I just planned on staying in my car and um, catching up on emails and messages and that sort of stuff and I, a line started forming so I stood in line for 45 minutes to get in and I made it through the toys I started to look at clothing and it just got too crowded and I couldn't stand it it was a small space it's one of the smaller consignment sales um, that I go to uh, and I just I couldn't do it I was happy with what I got toys and game wise and I figured my next consignment sale is the big one um, in Winchester so I'll do clothes there uh, but for for toys I'm excited let me show you what I got I'm gonna turn the camera around okay I'm in my room where it's quiet for the moment when the kids are eating lunch I found this fold-out couch for Whitney's American Girl Amer our generation doll and the price tag was four dollars I thought that was um, a good price. She's just not getting into it. I'm trying to not pay full price for that kind of stuff. I got an entire bag of 18 inch doll clothes and accessories and there's a couple books in there. There's shoes. Um, the whole bag was $15, which that's one outfit in the store, even at Target. This is Build-A-Bear, um, but they're lightsabers for that size bear, and I thought they would work perfect for her um, American Girl doll. She has an, one American Girl doll, which was mine, and I bought her an Our Generation one um, not too long ago. I thought that was really, really fun. This is also a dog set. has the bed, the food bowls, and everything, and a dog in there for her American Girl doll. That was 10 Um, Let's jump up here to games. We're working with money in homeschool right now, so there's a money making change game for six dollars. Um, Walter is really into puzzles right now, and this is an ABC train puzzle for four fifty. Um, at the last consignment sale, there was a lady who was selling off her child's uh, Thomas collection, and she did a really good job. She kept the trading cards that came with them. Um, I didn't see too many this time. I had bought a ton last time, and I actually gave them to Walter for Christmas this year. Um, but there was one um, here that it makes noises and sound or sounds and lights up, and she wanted two dollars for that. Great deal. There were some of these connector pieces um, that we don't have, um, so I bought that, and that was six dollars. Um, these are for future toys for Walter to play with. There's a bag of their die-cast airplanes and helicopters. And then that was $4. The tag fell off of that. And then from the movie Planes, these are a bunch of little cute little planes. And that was $3. I know we don't have some of these. And these little ones we don't have. So that was a fun find. Put those away for later. Wesley is really into Star Wars, so I found him this Death Star light. It actually lights up. Really, really cool. He hasn't seen this yet. He's gonna be so excited. That was $10. Turn that off. I found, I've been looking for a long time. 
I got a Jeep for her. Um, her dolls are 18 inch dolls and they wanted $18. I've seen them on Facebook Marketplace for $15. You have to drive all over to get them. Figured for the extra $3, this was in good shape. I'd go ahead and pick that up. And then I found this. Um, we have a disc golf course actually near our house. It's less than 10 minutes drive. Um, I thought this would give them some practice here at home and keep them outside for a long time. That is my goal. Um, I did pay a lot for this. I know they're not cheap online. The original price um, on there was $34. It looks like they got it at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. I did pay $20 for this. The lady who does this consignment sale opens everything and makes sure all the pieces are in there. Um, so I know all the pieces are there. I was willing to spend the $20 on that. Um, I'm excited for them to play. I also have a nephew and I have a niece on the way and we're going to visit my in-laws in a couple weeks and wanted to take some toys for her house for when the grandbabies come over. Um, so I found this rattles and cloth books and this whole bag was $2. Um, some tabby toys with the tabs on the ends taggies I guess is what they're called this was a dollar and I found a Mickey and Minnie rattle and they they light up yeah there they go they light up when you bang them um this was two dollars and I got another just random rattles car seat toys another one for for three dollars so I got all of this today um, no clothes again, but I think I made out pretty good in the long run. It was about $120. Um, I love buying used and saving money. That is what I'm about. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will take you along my next adventure shortly. Bye. Good morning. It is Thursday, March 25th. I am at my second consignment sale of the spring season. I have three sales I go to, one I can sign at, and that is this one. Um, I can sign uh, just over 500 items at this sale. Um, it is mom to mom consignment in Winchester. I've been going to this since Whitney was little, so that's about eight years now. Um, this is the sale to be at. They fill two sports arenas, so a hockey basketball court and an indoor soccer arena full. I am talking, I think they said last night they had 77,000 items from over 500 families in this area uh, on consignment. Um, so that's a lot of items. Um, they have a spring and a fall one. And like I said, this is the spring sale. Since I can sign, I get to shop a day early than the public. So I am sitting here waiting for the doors to open. I brought my beach wagon so I don't have to haul bags on my shoulders. And I hope to find a lot of good deals. I'll show you when I get home. P.S. I talked to the owners at Drop Off and they gave me permission to go ahead and I can film. I told them I wouldn't film people's faces so if it does get crowded, there's going to be a lot less video, but I'll try to show you inside and um, we'll go from there. So. from 
my second consignment sale of the spring season. It was mom to mom consignment. It was my absolute favorite sale to go to. Um, I was able to record a little bit of the um, shopping experience with you. Um, then my cart got too full and I need two hands to navigate. It's a whole big mess. Anyways, I am gonna turn the camera around and show you all that I got and also um, tell you how much I spent. So this okay, this is all the fun stuff I have. I end up bringing, leaving most of my things in my wagon and just putting the wagon in my van and then um, Paul helped me carry it in the house. Um, but I got all this fun stuff. Let me show you, let's start with clothes. Let's get that out of the way. This is a stack I've got for Walter. Um, it was a set of three polo shirts. Um, it was $7 for all three, which isn't bad. Got him, this is Carter shirt. It was $3. <laughs> Dinosaur land shirt. Um, probably gonna go there this summer, hopefully. Um, that was fun, $1.50. Um, this is an Oshkosh Bagosh shirt. For $150. This is a children's place shirt for I got it for $150. Um, we have another, I think it's a cat and jack um, for $1.50. This is Carter's. Let's see, tags down here on the bottom. Dollar. I got him a dress shirt for church. Um, $2. His older brother is really into Star Wars. Thought it'd be funny to get him a Star Wars shirt. That was $1.50. Um, this is Wesley Stack. I found him a Star Wars shirt with some X-Wings on it for $3.50. A pair of pajamas with the pants for $4. I got, this was a set of three um, winter shirts. I bought them the next size up. So you can wear them for next year. So for three shirts, it was $4. Found him another robot transformer thingy, whatever that is, $4. Um, this was a Roar shirt. Oh, that was $5. Didn't realize it was that expensive. That's all right, he'll wear it. And a pair of shorts for $3. And then we're gonna get into Whitney's stuff. She got a lot of dresses this time. This teal dress was $4. This cotton dress here was four dollars another cotton sleeveless tank dress that was five um, I guess teal was my color today this is another cotton lace dress four dollars and then this is two pairs of spring pajamas um, two shirts two pairs of pants that was twelve dollars as the kids get older the clothes get more Expensive from consignment sales, so that's clothes. Let's go down here. My kids love playing with Lincoln Logs, so I got two huge, they're two gallon Ziploc bags. Um, they were $17.50 a piece. Lincoln Logs are still really expensive. I thought that was a good price for those. Found Walter, piece to his wood trains. It's a Brio, makes a lot of noise. <laughs> Um, that was $4.50. It's a pretty good price for Brio. Um, we are going to go into states soon in homeschooling land. It's brand new sealed 51 piece floor puzzle for $7. Got this box of train tracks and bridges and tunnels. Um, it's Ikea, I think, uh, for $8.50. I think there were some trains in there too. Got this bag of Hot Wheels track for two dollars. We're gonna go over here. We got a Dusty Crop Hopper plane. I'm I mean, my name is Talks and Flies. Two fifty. Got a couple books here. These are hardback books for Walter. Star Wars book. Um, that was two fifty. Um, accounting. This is goes above ten. He's can count to 20 um, and this had goes to 100 in the back of the book so he'll really like that um, that was two dollars 
found this classic Thomas the Tank Engine classic. It has um, a bunch of stories in it for $2.50. Both boys still really like Thomas, so we'll put that on the bookshelf. I got two bags here of, um, I think they're, they're Lego um, brand. I don't know what they're called, Duplo. Um, this bag had Disney cars um, and Mickey Mouse in it. That bag was 10 bucks, which was a really good price. It's a huge bag. And this bag here was $6. It's a fairly large bag. Um, a tip to cleaning those, if you get them second hand and you just worry about germs, you can actually put them in the washing machine. Just throw a towel in with it, run it on hot with a little bit of bleach. It won't ruin it at all. It'll just be really, really noisy. Um, you can also put them in the dishwasher. I got Whitney, brand new in the box. Um, first guitar. Um, her brother has one. Now she has one of her own. They don't fight. Um, that was $12. Um, I got a moon in my room. Wesley has one of these. I guess I'll put this one in Whitney's room. I paid a lot of money for his. This one was only $4. It does all the phases of the moon by remote. Um, Whitney will like that in her room. Um, in the wagon. I got this for Walter. It's a wood. Um, I think it's Melissa and Doug. Clock puzzle. It's $4. I found some... Um, American Girl Doll Outfits for Whitney's Doll. Um, I paid $1.50 for that one. This was $2. Here was another dollar outfit. Cute pants, shirt. I got this toy grocery basket for $1.50. We have a whole grocery store kitchen diner set up in the basement, so that will go there. Found this for when Walter gets a little bit older. Matching game. Um, the Beginner's Bible version, $3.50. This is brand new, sealed in the box. Walter is really into this type of puzzle. It's These wood boxes have five to seven um, puzzles in them. So this um, has seven, it was $7. These are like $15 to $20 in the store. It's a really good deal. This is for Walter in a couple months. Um, a huge floor puzzle for $4. I got this, like I mentioned, we're going to be learning about states. It's state bingo. It's $5.50. Looks pretty neat. This is another one of those box of wood puzzles. I think it has four, and this one is Paw Patrol. It was $3. This is, I opened it up. I think it's Toy Story. That was $3. And then I got a number, another jumbo floor puzzle for $36. I think my total came to $220 for all of this. I am pretty happy. It's probably the most I've spent at a consignment sale, but again, the kids are older. Their stuff is starting to cost a little bit more. They're not little babies, little baby toys. Um, the Legos will give Walter something new to do this week, which, I mean, he's almost turning three, so he's getting into that curious stage and needing to keep him occupied more and more. I have one more consignment sale, and that's tomorrow morning. My mom's going to come and watch the kids. It's more local. It's not as far away. Um, she'll watch the, watch the kids, and I'll go into that. Hey, everyone. It is Friday. I just pulled into the parking lot for my third and final consignment sale of the spring season. Um, it is um, probably one of the smaller ones that I go to throughout the year. Um, I'm super excited um, to show you all the deals that I find. I also want to clarify, throughout these videos you see I buy my kids a lot, a lot of toys. My kids do not get all the toys at one time. Um, I usually let them pick one thing for them to play with now. The rest go in a basket in my room that I keep and um, lately we've been giving the kids a task a week to complete and uh, for example I'm a homeschooling mom so I um, my third grader we're learning multiplication tables so I'll give her um, she'll have to learn her sevens this week or her sixes 
um, I'll pick something. And for my first grader, um, it's a task like we need to just spend 10 minutes on flashcards every day or read for 30 minutes um, every day. And then on Friday, they get to go pick something from the basket. They don't go to the store with me because of COVID usually. So it's like shopping for them. And they get really excited and they have something to look forward to at the end of the week. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, I usually at this sale don't find a lot of clothes, um, some clothes. Um, it's at a uh, private school, so I usually find awesome learning resources, books, puzzles, um, learning games, that sort of thing at this one. Um, so I'm excited to show you what I, um, what I picked up later today. I hope you enjoyed these videos and remember to like or subscribe to my channel. It really does help other people, um, the videos show up in other people's feeds. Um, I'll see you in a little bit. I am back from my last consignment sale of the year and it was successful. I found way more things than I thought I would. I guess that's the theme of consignment sales this season. Um, everybody's getting rid of everything. Um, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to take it all in and show you what I got. I will say that um, I forgot this consignment sale takes the tags off of everything. That's how they keep track of um, who to pay. Um, so I'll give you the grand total and a uh, rough estimate about what each item cost while it's fresh in my mind. Okay, I'm ready to show you what I got at the last consignment sale of the spring 2021 season. Let's start over here with um, this cute little cars bike. I know that was $10. I figured later this summer, Walter might be ready um, to start riding the little bike. Um, the seat can go all the way down. I think he can ride that with no issues. Found this Our Generation bathtub for Whitney's American Girl doll. And I think I've decided with the furniture, I'm gonna hold it for either her birthday or for Christmas. It's in really good shape. Um, my kids don't care if they get used stuff as presents. Um, I think that was $5 for that. I found this Barbie suitcase. It's actually for holding Barbies. And this is for my sister's little girl. I'll show you inside. The little drawers and those top racks there hold Barbies and it's on wheels and has a handle. That was $2. I didn't remember that. Um, I got a couple books here. I think this was a $1 Christmas book and this was 50 cents. Um, it's a look and find book. Walter will really enjoy that. I got him a floor puzzle. I think this was $4. I found this Star Wars Lego holder figure for figurines, Millennium Falcon for Wesley. I think it was three or four dollars. Um, a couple of these things I'm gonna set aside and put in his Easter basket. Um, I don't know if you can see what's under there. That desk with a glass top. It's a real wood desk. Uh, I got that for $30 today for Whitney's room. Really excited about that one. Found this bag of Barbies. I think this was $3. Disney princesses. That again is for my niece. Found some micro machines. Star Wars. That was $4. Easter basket. Found this Lego. It is a walker. I was right. Um, for $3. That's also Easter basket. He's going to flip. The kids have not seen what I brought home yet. Look at that. He is going to love, love, love that. Let's continue with toys and we'll come back to look at clothes. Found this bag of American Girl doll shoes. I think this was $5. Looks like there's like 10 to 15 pairs in there. There's roller skates. I'm gonna set that aside um, in our prize basket. 
got this winter coat with matching earmuffs for her doll. I think that was four or five dollars. This is a desk set with a Papazon chair. It looks like there's some accessories, like a computer and stuff for her doll. That was $10. Got this picnic table set. Whoever was selling all of their American Girl and Our Generation stuff, thank you. My child will love them. Um, picnic table set has the umbrella and the outdoor stuff, and it looks like it has some place settings. Um, with that, I think that was $10 as well. I gave Whitney her guitar that I got in the last video and Wesley was sad because his guitar didn't sound the same. So today I found the same guitar she has, but just in brown today for him. He hasn't seen that yet either. I think that was 12 or 15. Um, it takes real guitar strings. Pretty cool. I have no idea what this is. I'm sure my kids will tell me what it is, but it is a Star Wars ship. Pretty sure it's complete. This was five dollars. So was that? Pretty sure. I think we have some clothes. I got Wesley some outdoor those light jersey shirts. I think they were two dollars a piece. Found another Star Wars shirt. I think that was about two or three dollars. Found Walter a Thomas shirt. I think it was two dollars. Pretty sure this one was $1.50, his birthday coming up in May. I have Winnie this dress, it's $4, it's really pretty. I got her this white cotton lace dress. I think this one was eight, and I have a denim jacket I think would look really great with that with her. So there you have it, there's my haul. My total here came to $1.48, and that included the $2 fee for them using uh for me using a credit card i think i did really great i'm really happy with what i got at these three consignment sales i'll put away some of these toys for holidays or birthdays or whatever um thank you for joining me remember to hit the like and subscribe button see you on my next adventure